Hello Virgo, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. It doesn't cost you anything, so thank you. Please remember this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, so please take... These cards don't want to come. That one does. Please take what resonates and leave the rest alone. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest and relax. Now I've had this nearly about four times in the last six readings. Or three times. Take a break. Lie back, relax, pamper yourself. Heal from the past. Do something you enjoy. Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. Now, this can be an idea that you have here and you're not sure about it. It might be you're not sure about how it's all going to unfold here. What happens is night turns into day and as you go down this path, things will be revealed to you. But if you've got an intuition or your intuition is telling you to do something or there's something you've really always wanted to do that you're passionate about, it's time to sit, you know, it's time to start. Time to start, definitely. You will be guided. You don't have to know everything and how everything's going to turn out. It can feel a bit scary as well if it's change you're bringing in here. So don't beat yourself up about this idea. Take time out to relax. and just. In, you might need to take time out to relax to think about what you want to do here. The three of wands, and it's time to get started here. Scorpio energy, the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. The Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups here is confusion. You've got options. It might be that, you you know, you're, you've created a great lot of stability where you are at the moment, but there's confusion here about the path you want to go down. Now, you have to follow your intuition here because this is time for change and it's time for making long-term plans for your future. There's something you could invest in here that would grow, that you would benefit from investing in. Now it could be new courses, new ideas, new relationships, moving house, immigrating, whatever it may be. But there's transformational energy around and this is the time now for you to make these changes because this Scorpio energy is about out with the old and in with the new. So whatever, choose, the two of wands is you choosing your path, the three of wands is looking out towards it, trusting and believing. This is part of this as well, it's trusting and believing that you can do this and go down this path and I think that's highly important here. So don't get confused, take take a step back, relax, don't beat yourself up about this. If there's something you want to do, trust and believe that you can achieve it and the universe will support you as you go along life's path. So we'll take we'll clarify the seven of cups. Trusting you have the ability to do this is highly important here. That's what I'm hearing. You can do this. The ten of wands, the five of swords. Fives are change again, fives are change for me, and the four of wands. Now, this here is about having options that can end your challenges. Your challenges, it feels like you've been going through one thing after another here. Like you've had the whole weight of the world on your shoulders. And what Spirit's saying here, it's time to cut your losses. Time to cut your losses. It can be a bittersweet victory. It might feel as well that you're losing something as you go forward, but fives are change, and it's time for change, most definitely. So. There could be a compromise needed here as well, but this will end your challenges definitely. And you're definitely going to bring greater stability. You're going to be victorious. This change here, this compromise, this cutting our losses, this bittersweet victory here is definitely going to move you on to a greater path for growth. Definitely. So there's something here you've always wanted to do. Trust and believe you can do it. You're going to have to make the changes. There's definitely decisions need to be made here, compromises possibly. For example, what I mean by that, if you want to, you know, if there's a, something you've always wanted to study, you might have to find a compromise over money. So you might have to take, you know, lose a wage to go back to college. I'm just giving you an example, but see in the long term, you're going to be happier. We're going to go through the three to the four. You're going to grow as a person. You're going to learn. You're going to be inspired. And you're going to bring great stability into your life through doing this. You're going to feel a lot more stable. Now, this is a, this card of celebration as well. So this could be marriage for some of you. It might be that you want to get married. Give up single life. It might be that you've been single for a while and you're giving up single life here. So there might be challenges in your relationship. It could be long distance relationships. It could be moving in together. It could be moving your relationship onto the next level. There's a hundred different things that wands can be for people. So this three of wands, can we please clarify this? The lover's card, so it definitely could be a relationship, planning for your future here. 
the Four of Cups or the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this is Gemini energy. You could be dealing with a Gemini. It could be making long-term plans with a Gemini. Now, you might have been single. You're very independent-minded. This is a good relationship. It's not a relationship where you're codependent. You can still do your own thing. You can still have your opinions here. And you're very well balanced, got high self-esteem. So you know how to balance out relationships, finances, all that type of thing. It might be that you're fed up with the way things are at the moment, most definitely. Now, if it's not relationships here and you're fed up with what you're doing, this is choosing. The whole meaning to this card is choosing to bring harmony and balance back into your life. It's about taking that choice, taking the bull by the horns and saying, right, I'm doing this. I'm going to independently, I'm making this decision to go down this path and bring change in. So beautiful things come of that. And she's a young empress. You will do well here. This situation will serve you well. You'll be able to balance things out here. You're, it's going to give you new confidence. It's going to, it's going to bring you new self-esteem. Your self-esteem will rise. And people will see that you're somebody who can create beautiful things in your life. So you'll create beautiful, you'll attract beautiful people in. Moderation, moderation. There is something you know you shouldn't be eating. Now, it can be anything. You're overindulging in anything. It doesn't have to be food. Try to eat mindfully and healthily, although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So there might be something you're overindulging in here. It could be something that's making you miserable. <laughs> time for something new. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.